and welcome back to Evergreen Speedway's home track, Heroes. 30 laps to go, and we have a new leader. We're going to go double box and take a look at what happened. Owen Riddle just able to squeak on by Derek Thorne, and he said see you later and has checked out since then. So Owen Riddle, huge lead now, under 30 to go, and it's pretty much his race to lose now as it's been smooth sailing once he got around the 43. Owen Riddle looking really good here, but tough break for Derek Thorne. We talked about it multiple times. Snake bit in this track. Just something going sour on that car because he's fell back so fast here. Remember, this segment brought to you by our friends at Speedway Chevrolet. Visit Speedway Chevrolet and RV Center in Monroe for customized trucks, lifted trucks, work trucks, and Speedway Chevrolet can locate the truck that fits you best. And we're looking at a great battle just in front of your leader, Owen Riddle. That's the 7 of Bryce Bazanz and the 48T of Tanner Holm and the 3 of Wyatt Gardner. As they're all a lap down but battling for that 14th position. As they got, It's not going to be smooth sailing for Owen Riddle once he catches up to that battle because they've been nose to tail for quite a few laps and they're not going to move over very easily for him. Three very young drivers but very uh, kind of high expectations for these drivers over the next few years, but uh, definitely don't want to play a factor into deciding somebody's $25,000 fate. You want to have that one on your shoulders for sure. Yeah, that'd be a blemish to the resume for sure. Is that, oh yeah, I got in the way of Owen Riddle when he was trying to win that twenty-five grand, but they continue to battle just inside the top 15 as uh, Owen Riddle, he's catching them fairly quickly as you think he would. As, uh, that tank car has just been on rails once he got past the 43 of Derek Thorne, and the 65 Tyler Tanner sitting there in third, so he's got a spot on the podium, but I think he would like a uh, couple more spots forward so he's hoping for a caution or maybe lap this lap traffic to really get in owner of his way yeah you see the drivers back there battling for the 14th 15th 16th position right now as uh, slowly just kind of settling in there and uh, riddle is right there to their back bumper as you see riddle pulling up right there behind gardner yeah, we'll see what happens here. It looks like Wyatt Garner's going to go high. Bryce Bazanson goes way high, entering turn number one. Not sure what happened there, but that allows the 48C of Tanner Holm to get by. Owen Riddle's going to be on the back bumper. Bazanson going into turn number three. He's going to dive bomb way to the inside. So he's taking care of two of the three lap cars so far. And there's Peltier coming into picture. He's still trying to unlap himself. Still a lap down, but he's driven through the field and is running down your leader now, just trying to unlap himself the hard way. Yeah, it's a very rarely do you ever see a guy unlap himself the hard way maybe on a quarter mile or three eighths mile but on the five eighths mile they think that's really tough to do here and but there's any chance to try to win that eighty thousand dollars Preston Peltier's got to do it still kind of bounce back from that early race penalty at the halfway break after he ran out of fuel yeah and he's uh, that really would go to show how strong of a car he is and how great of a driver he is if he's able to unlap himself drive from the back of the field to the front this would be the second time he's done it this race and uh he's really closing in on that 10 of owen riddle and uh once he gets around him he's got to hope for a caution or uh something to get him back in the fight and at even at that point did he use up too much tires as we got to the battle for second now here comes tyler tanner diving bomb away to the inside of Derek thorne and Derek Thorne falling back pretty quick. There, like you said, there's something wrong in that 43 car. He was so dominant early on in this race, and you got to wonder something. It, it's not tires related because they're all about the same tire issue there, but you got to wonder something going around the suspension there. You see the car bobbling up quite a bit there through the corners, and uh, it's a tough break for the 43 car. Yeah, as they're catching the lap traffic that Owen Riddle already dealt with. That's why Garner and Bryce Bazanza, they almost get together right in front of your second and third place as Tyler Tanner is going to get a grade on the inside of Wild, uh, Wyatt Garner going down in turn number one one so that was almost disaster right in front of your second and third place cars and Gardner goes off the pace there a little bit uh, falls back behind there you see Tanner now about a five car length lead over Derek Thorne 20 laps to go in this one and if Tyler Tanner wants to have any chance to catch Owen Riddle he's got to get going really soon yeah he's got about a straightaway lead does Owen Riddle over Tyler Tanner but one wrong battle with a lap car and there goes Preston Peltier unlapping himself that is so impressive the 18 car Preston Peltier back on the lead lap so huge run there for Preston Peltier but Tyler Tanner is going to need a lot of help if he wants to do the same thing and get around the 10 car Owen Riddle I think Owen just probably pulled up the track that time and said hey you know what I'm not going to battle you. Use up my tires here because if something does happen in the late race, you don't want to have to deal with that. You see a lot of smoke now coming out of the seven car of Bryce Bazanz and maybe a big tire rub there on the low side of the seven car. You see Brandon Farrington, which has been a very good run for Brandon Farrington, kind of quiet here, as well as the Moxie Missile Mike Longton. Both those drivers running uh, fourth and fifth. 
Yeah, and then here comes Taylor Riddle just outside the top five. He's been pretty consistent it's hanging around there. The whole race, a one late race caution could really put him back in the mix, but a ton of smoke off that seven car. That's the last thing you want is a tire up here on the 5 8 mile because if that tire goes down, it's going to be disaster for the seven of Bryce Wisanson as Wild Wise is going to pull it back up to the back bumper of him and uh, almost move out of the way as the seven car looks to be a little bit slower. Maybe that tire is going flat. You see right there in the back of your picture there, the 89 car of Donnie Wannett, who started the back of the pack, has worked himself up to the seventh spot now. He has that $10,000 bonus out there as well. So another driver going for extra money. If All he's got to do is finish in the top three. Doesn't have to win it, just got to finish the top three. And by the way, Preston Peltier, same situation. If he can finish in the top three, he gets an extra $10,000. Maybe not the 40000 he wanted, but he'll take the extra ten. Yeah, as we see a side-by-side -side battle of lap cars in front of Donnie Wanna, the three all-black cars battling on track. As Donnie Wanna, he's got quite a bit of ground to make up. He wants to catch Taylor Riddle, and he's got a lot of ground. He wants to catch Derek Thorne and get onto that podium and get that extra 10 grand. As we have 15 laps remaining that time by, so 15 to go, and it is all Owen Riddle out front in that 10 car. Down the back stretch they go with... Uh Coming right there at the speed shot. Great shot there as they come down the front stretch there. You see the gap between Owen Riddle and Tyler Tanner now. Almost about a half straightaway total. But closing that gap just a little bit each time is Tyler Tanner. You got to wonder, though, is he maybe, you know, catching because Owen's conserving tires a little bit? Doesn't want to push it too hard. Exactly, yeah. It could be a mind game. Owen Riddle just preserving his stuff. And then as soon as Tyler Tanner runs him down, he's going to uh, go back to 100% and start to pull away again as uh, some lap traffic could come into play. Uh, Press both here pulling away a little bit with some more lap cars in front of him there. 13 to go. It's still anyone's race, barring anything big happening to Taylor Riddle or Owen Riddle up front. Yeah, you got to hope, too, if you're Preston Peltier, you are just hoping and praying that you get a caution of some sort to have you a chance. But you need probably about another uh, maybe maybe two cautions to kind of gain up there because you got to gain about seven, eight positions from where you start out as a lap car. Exactly, yeah. Owen Riddle closing on the back bumper. Trent Moriarty, that 12 car, he started falling off pretty quickly, too, in this back half of the race. So not the uh, result he was looking for in that 12 machine, but uh, we'll see him come off the corner here. Uh, flying through that speed shot, still such a great looking shot going going down the, off of turn number four. Yeah, cars are now they're, those tires that they've had the second set, they're starting to go away a little bit. Handling started to go away a little bit. Now these drivers just want to hold on these last 10 laps for just mercy and just trying to hold on and not lose the cars because handling is a whole different story when you have no tires and you've had a 100 lap run. Like you said, just 10 laps to go for the 10 car of Owen Riddle this time by. So it's really coming down to the end of it for him. There is the 65 with Tyler Tanner as he is not that far off. It really just takes one big mistake from Owen Riddle for Tyler Tanner to be there at the end of it. As we're going to take a look at your entire top five here in a second. Tyler Tanner been so impressive in that 65 machine. Uh, just hoping for that one more spot. Just needs that one, that one mistake to happen or that one caution to give him another fighting chance. Here comes the 43 of Derek Thorne. Like we said, just something wrong with that car, something a little bit off, but he's still on a podium spot, which I think he'd be content with, but not the result he's looking for. Yeah, Derek Thorne has had such a good run in the last two days here. Then you see Brandon Farrington, that 25 car, been very quiet, but comfortably running in that fourth position, been very strong there. The Arizona State NASCAR champion came up here with and has very good runs. And then you drop back there and you're going to see, it looks like the 15 car of Taylor Riddle as we had lost the 37 car of Mike Longton had to pull in the pits there. Unfortunate instant for Longton. So Taylor Riddle, he's been quiet, but comfortably in that top five. Yeah, like you mentioned, Brandon Farrington, Arizona State champion. Uh, now he's been running full. Oh, there's the 37. Like you mentioned, he did fall off, and we didn't, didn't see him, but there he is into the pits now. So tough break there for the 37. But Brandon Farrington, he's run full time with the uh, SRL Tour this year. So some of the best competition he's been with all year long, or all, his entire career. And there's the 15 of Taylor Riddle. So it is a very stacked top five but like I mean they're pretty far spread out with just seven laps to go so it's gonna take a caution for anyone I have any hopes of hunt down Owen Riddle this race is pretty much locked up right now by Owen Riddle as he just controls his destiny on a Saturday night drive trying to drive to that $25,000 paycheck his biggest win of his career he's just got to be smooth and patient these last seven eight laps here as long as he can hold on 
Yeah, you can see Tyler Tanner still not in the picture yet. Just now entering turn number three right there. That white car at the top of your screen for a, mom for a moment. But uh, Owen Riddle in that tank car, I cannot uh, begin to talk about how impressive it's been. He's been fast all weekend, but no, we're not quite at the top of the charts at all. But he's been fast, he's been consistent, and he's showing why uh, whenever that tank car rolls through the back gates at Evergreen Speedway, it's got to be feared. And he's just looking to check off that summer showdown 25 grand victory. Small family operation between him and his brothers and the Van Dorn chassis there. He switched a couple years ago from the Port City chassis to Van Dorn chassis. He's had quite a bit of success with them and uh, really finding out this weekend. And, uh, oh, we got Wyatt Gardner very slow going into turn number three. Will he be able to make it all the way back around here? Trust me, he's, as, as Owen Riddle drove by there just now, you could got to hope he's got to go back down. As the caution lights come on for the three car of Wyatt Gardner. Oh my goodness, we're gonna bring it back up to the booth. Boy, does that shake things up. Tough break, not sure what's going on there. If it was uh, some electrical or maybe out of gas, we saw that happen with Preston Peltier in the first half. So tough break there for the three car Wyatt Gardner and even bigger tough break for the 10 car. Owen Riddle's gotta be thinking, wow, what did I do to deserve this? I've been so close so many times, but now he's got one more restart. If he can try to hold them off, maybe a couple restarts, but just gotta wonder, he's got a whole entire field behind him there. He's got Tyler Tanner on the outside of him now. Can he hold off them? And oh, by the way, Back there in eighth spot on the lead lap now is Preston Peltier, and he's driving for $80,000. But a whole entire gamut, those top eight cars all on the lead lap there. Any of those drivers a chance now to win $25,000 with just three laps to go. Owen Riddle, Tyler Tanner on the front row, Derek Thorne, Brandon Farrington in row number two, Taylor Riddle, and I couldn't quite see who that was. Was that Donnie Wanna who's worked up there trying to get that extra 10 grand? Then Cody Vanderwall and Prez Peltier, all your lead lap cars coming off of turn number four, a three lap shootout for 25 grand. Green flag is out, and what a start by Owen Riddle jumping out there. You see Cody Vanderwall jump way down the low side there as Preston Peltier tried to dive on the inside. They're going for all the big money. Good run that time by Tyler Tanner. On the outside, here comes Brandon Farrington. Owen Riddle launched out of a cannon going down in turn number one. He got all the room he needed, was able to clear Tyler Tanner into turn number one, which I think is all he really needed. And the big story, look at P number three, Brandon Farrington able to get around Derek Thorne for that third spot. So huge move there for the 25 as he's gaining on the back of the 65 car. See Donnie Wannett, Cody Vanderwall, Preston Peltier all battling back for that sixth position right now as the chances of the $80,000 payday are going back very slim right now as Preston cannot get by Donnie Wannett. White flag is out one more time around for Owen Riddle. Owen Riddle enters turn number one and gets good drive off turn number two. Brandon Farrington trying to get the inside of Tyler Tanner for that second spot. Just not enough. I think that's all the gap Owen Riddle needed as they go down in turns number three and four one final time. Off of turn number four, his brother did it in 2016. Now he will do it for the first time. $25,000 winner. Your 2000 and 21 Summer Showdown winner Owen Riddle takes off the win. Second place, good run. Tyler Tanner, Brandon Farrington, and uh, Derek Thorne, Taylor Riddle round your top five. So tough break. Donnie won it outside of the podium. He doesn't get that extra 10 grand. Preston Peltier doesn't get that 80 grand after the penalty. He had to bounce back, but huge run for him there. But all eyes on the 10 car. And there are some pretty happy fans there. We're going to go down to the Angel of the Winds podium and check in with your top three. Oh, and congratulations. Uh, what a run. I, I mean, I was watching you all day in practice, and it was one of those things looking at it, it's like Owen's got something to go for tonight, and you came out and you showed it in this summer showdown for 200 laps. Yeah, you know, first of all, uh, thank you to everybody coming out tonight. It was a packed house. Uh, hope we put on a show. Um, secondly, I got to thank all my sponsors, my crew, everybody that helped me. Wouldn't be here without any of them. Uh, Van Doren Racing Development, Butch was here this weekend. Uh, never took a minute off. Worked on the car the whole time. Uh, gave me a rocket ship. Bradley Shaw did a phenomenal job on the radio. Uh, it was just a good night. So talk about it. I mean, your your brother uh, he has won the summer showdown, and and now you get to put your piece of hardware right next to his, and he's got nothing to hang over your head anymore. No, it's uh it's pretty cool to have that accomplishment. He got his a few years ago, and this one's been on my list for quite a while. All right, well you got it done tonight, and with getting it done, I got something better than a handshake. <laughs> How about that? 
Tyler, a, a great run here tonight. You, you've made, I think, just about every summer showdown. I don't think you've missed one, but uh, this one is definitely your best. Yeah, it is. We've been to every one. I think fourth is our best finish up until tonight. And uh, we were terrible the first half, to be honest. I, I think we just got a bad set of tires. The stagger grew up. Um, but the guys made the gr made great adjustments at halftime. And, uh, you know, the tire situation right now is tough, but Hooters doing a great job to keep us racing. So I just want to say I appreciate everything they're doing. But our second half set was way better, and we definitely had a race car to contend for the win. I probably raced Thorne a little bit too nice there and let, uh, let Owen go get away. But... And then we, I don't know what happened at that yellow there. We just couldn't go, and uh, that's just the way it comes down. So I want to thank everyone that helped get us here. ASD Floors, 90 Creative, Magnus Performance, Joe's Racing Products, Ernest, Hamke, my mom, dad, everyone that's helped me put this car together over the last two months. Um, I hate losing, but there's nothing to be disappointed about tonight. Makes a drive up from Tucson a little worth it, right? Yeah, the, uh, the drive home is going to be a little bit sweeter. Um, you know, obviously, we wanted a uh, first place, but uh, we all knew that we had a goal. Um, we wanted the top five. Um, our first two times here were were less than desirable. Um, you know, I think it was a ninth and eleventh, and it was basically just uh, we we got those finishes by surviving. So. Um, this one feels really good. It feels earned. Um, couldn't uh, couldn't be happier with with the car I had tonight and uh, how hard my crew worked all weekend. Um, pretty awesome. Well, and with having been here twice before, uh, that, that gives you something to lean on and, yeah, and preparing to come back a third time. And, and you and your crew put it all together for this run. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, we've lear we've learned a lot of stuff in the last year. Um, you know, pairing up, teaming up with SPS has been huge. Um, really, kind of made our made our transition into uh, traveling traveling racing um, a lot quicker, um, get up to speed a lot quicker. So that was that's been awesome, and uh, you know, just super grateful. So talk about who got you here. Who do you need to thank, Brandon? Uh, first off, I got to thank Brad and Joanne Corneliusen back at home. Um, she's recovering from a from a hip surgery right now, so uh, you know they, this is their favorite race of the year. Um, you know, unfortunately they're they're not here, but uh, they had to take care of health first, and and that's uh, that's obviously more important. Huge podium there for Brandon Farrington, but all eyes on Owen Riddle. I think it's the biggest smile I've ever seen him have. Yeah, drivers sometimes doesn't show a whole lot of emotions in that side, but definitely happy. The biggest run of his career, he's won three Montana 200s, but now he's a summer showdown winner, just like his brother, in $25,000. Richard Tyler Tanner, he was emotions, but uh, interesting to see. And then Brandon Farrington, top three. What a great run for all three of those drivers. Yeah, big finish for him in front of his SRL competitor, Derek Thorne, so I'm sure he's going to be a happy trip for him all the way back down to the southwest but uh thank you guys so much for tuning in to summer showdown 200 next on deck we got the rory price memorial which you can catch next week on cw 11 uh sunday at 5 p.m biggest wing sprint car event in the whole west coast you're not going to want to miss it. it's the last running of the rory price memorial and you've called that race for many years yeah it's a great race and uh, they are fast cars you blink and you miss them and i'm sure you're gonna have drivers from all over the country here they want to win that last rp yeah troy to care coming up i know it's definitely one that he wants to check off his list this is going to be his last chance to do so uh then the next event you guys can come watch in person we got the street stock super stock figure eights a great night of racing all around the legends will be back in action always a fun class whenever they show up uh the fair event tickets are now on sale so you go on evergreenspeedway.com and you can look at the long list of events during the fair time definitely events you will not want to miss thank you so much for tuning in here to evergreen speedway's home track heroes here on CW11. Thanks for watching Evergreen Speedway's Home Track Heroes on CW11. Join us next week for more great racing from Evergreen Speedway.